Howdy ho, everybody. Welcome back to the Rock's Roost and another exciting episode of Let's Play Sea of Stars. We're here in the Song Shroom Marsh and the, uh, the uh, lady here, the hag, if you will, has uh, given us respite here. This is the neutral of the three sisters. She also sells stuff. Um, you know, what does this thing do? Displays weaknesses, resistances, and non-boss enemy HP in combat. Man, that's expensive. But uh, I could see where that would be useful. You know what I'm saying? She also sells these things. We're, okay, well, maybe one day. Oh, what's this? Build the Dusty Tomes. Okay, we rested. Yes, and we recovered. She also gave us... Um, Yomara's key. <clears throat> yeah, Yomara's key, even. A key that unlocks the door south of the cabin. So let's head on out there and and uh, see what we can find, shall we? You know, here's the question. I almost forgot. There is a uh, Rambo conch over here. Was that thunder? Would you mind if we raid her garden? Hope not. Uh, Garl got to taste his first pear as well in the last episode, so... This uh, is a pear tree. Yomar's pear tree, yeah. I guess we don't want to mess with that. Uh, she only let Garl have one, so... This will be fairly precious to her. Take these onions for sure. And the taters. Okay, good. That was nice. I hope she doesn't mind. Let's check under the bridge. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, let's go. Almost forgot about that rainbow conch after making a big deal out of it last time. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? Well, I love a good bog myself. You know, like I said, they're great places to do some bird watching. And some giant bug watching, too, apparently. The grass assin. Let's uh, foil his uh, plane plans here. Shut him down, didn't it? Aha! How about the cooker? How about the cooker? See if we can get rid of him. Oh, easily. Okay, no problem. Some grain. Question pack five. That's for the quiz master. Back on uh, Wraith Island, I believe, is where he was. I think he's called the Quiz Master. I'm not sure. These little puzzles are neat. I mean, yeah, they're small puzzles, but they're neat. Um, again, the singing shrooms. Gonna love that. Let's go up this way. Oh, <laughs> peekaboo! Peekaboo! I see you. Shortcut? Maybe? I don't know. Just the way, I guess. Is this a cave? It is indeed. That's a turtle, ain't it? We got the attack. Hmm. That's good. Ooh. I'm gonna swap to Sarai. Yes. And we're gonna try to get the uh, the double here. 
and I screwed it up. I quite often do that with her. Hey, hey, you got it. Faked me out there, but I still had time to try again. Oh. Okay. Can't do Sunball. Let's, uh... Do the Crescent Arc. Yeah, we can get them all three. Let's do it. Resistant, huh? No need. Let's do the cooker again. I'm getting better at the timing on that. Ooh, that's gross. Okay, generally they're they're strong against poison, I do believe. Got it. What are we on? Some meats and some onions. Okay. Let's go get the mushrooms. Oops. Didn't mean to jump down there. Shroomy shivs. <laughs> That's cute. Increase potency of venom attacks. Plus, plus four, four, four to attack. Mm, can't go out here. Okay, let's just jump down. Okay. Around this way, over this way, down this way, up here we go. Whoop. Huh. Let's see, let's bring this over. And go in here. Is this progress? I'm not sure, it auto-saved. Let us uh, check around first. And which one's progress? I'm not sure. That one might be, because it's um, going in that direction. Let's just check this. So there's a thing there, I see. jump down there. So this puts us on top of this. There's a bridge. Man, I don't know which way to go. Okay. Let, let, let's, let's just wait a minute. Let me jump down. Let's go in here and check this. Mm, I see immediately. I'm glad I went here. Nice, wasn't it? Can't get them both. Let's try to get rid of this one. 
Okay. I think he's resistant to the moon. I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah. Got him. Onion. Yeah, this is the thing. We want this. Garl and Reshin learned Venom Bomb. Area damage. Okay. One pip. Okay, glad I backtracked. Now let's go back. There's nothing over here, was there? No. Nope. Gotta check. Onward we go. This is just like a bridge. Okay. It's getting dark and spooky. Oh, there's a banner there. What is this? Mm, we could use the grapple there. Let's, um... Hmm. I guess we have to use it, don't we? Okay. Hmm. There's another way up there. Or another way to this area. What's up, guys? That one's tricky to dodge, ain't gonna lie. Got a lot of goodies. Mushrooms and maple syrup. I know there's a switch over there. Okay, that does that. Let's go see what this one does. Bet it does a similar thing. Mm hmm. Let's go this way. out for special stuff and we're out the other end okay that's great can't get on top there well, let's hop on over don't fall in the goop come on get over there get over there 
a save point. May as well use it. Well, we're okay. Where to now? Ah. We're here. Why does the path go this way? Shortcut? Indeed. That's fantastic. Let's camp. I uh, forget. We don't have any new... Uh, no. The Acolytes are probably watching. Don't let your guard down. What Yamara said to Russian. What'd she mean? Living glass. Yamara's pair was unreal. We have full meals. Let's save and then we'll rest. I know we just saved them. Okay, to the castle we go. There's probably going to be all kinds of haints and boogers in there. Ooh. The lighting. Hmm. I guess we can't get in. It won't budge. There's a cactus. And another cactus. Well, let's go around and find the back way. How about that? It's always a back way, right? Oh, yeah. Sneaky. Oh, there's a critter. This is probably also closed. Yes, it is. More of these guys, huh? I forget what their special is. This, I guess. Not terrible. This is it. And behold, an entrance opens. Oh, wow. Well, they don't call it the Clockwork Castle for nothing, do they? Let's get the berries. Gotta have the berries, you know. You know what? Hold on. Was it worth it? I don't know. Maybe. They don't hit super hard, but...
dokey. Mm hmm. Sneaky treasure chest there. Cog the prototype. I'm betting that is something for Teeks. Yep. That's good. It's been a little bit since we had a story. Hey, hey, that's just convenient. You know what? Let's uh, see if we can hear a story. May give us some insight to the place. Now they're going to say the same things. Clockwork Castle. Yes. When Ivoro first arrived in our realm, he brought with him a group of kid geniuses. If stories are to believe, Kale and his friends had struck a deal with him to free their people. In the Fleshmancer's new base of operations, they would toil away, creating machines for obscure uses in realms unknown. But such a base had yet to be built, so as always, Ifrol set out to locate the best collaborator there was to be found. He needed someone morally neutral, for it was execution he desired, not competition. With this new lair, he would prove himself superior to Reshin by building a castle that would control time within itself. The watchmaker was the perfect fit. She was only interested in her craft and otherwise had no interest in Ifrol's machinations. Watchmakers. This is, the, this is also the wheels person, right? All she asked for in return was a workshop of her own where she could be left to her own devices. The deal was struck, and together they designed the clockwork castle. The watchmaker began drafting schematics for the kids to start production, while she'd handle the more intricate parts herself. Meanwhile, Ifril enchanted countless cogs and bricks, giving them an aura of magic that none could understand. Construction was almost complete when Kyle and his crew made their move. One night, they flipped exactly the right cog so that once the castle's perpetual movement was activated, its core function would backfire. They had no goal in mind other than foiling the Fleshmancer's plans, and in that respect, they'd succeeded resoundingly. What came of the sabotage was that the time now came to a halt that time now came to a halt within the Clockwork Castle, or rather within its inhabitants. And they had played their trick so well that Ifril didn't even know they'd done it on purpose. There'd be no impressing Russian this time, but he could definitely see some upsides to a workshop that operated forever. As a final touch, he ensured that any mortal leaving the castle would see themselves age instantly by the amount of time they'd spent inside. Upon completion, Ifro locked everyone inside for a century, ensuring that the watchmaker and her children could never leave, lest they die instantly of old age. The watchmaker thought nothing of it, and relished the opportunity to focus on her craft for an eternity. Yet in this time prison, Kael and his friends would have to work day and night. Proud of having done the right thing, it seems they are at peace with their situation. Perhaps getting to be kids forever helps, in a way. From day one, they would always deliver, while adding just the right amount of breakage to give the Fleshmancer countless headaches without raising suspicion. One can only feel gratitude when contemplating the suffering that's been delayed, or even prevented, thanks to their cunning game of wasting Ifril's time. The end. Very good. Let's save. Where do we go? How is this going to affect us, I wonder? There's the door. 
Let us continue to explore, though. A chest. Sturdy cog. Could power a gigantic clock and probably did. I will take it. Can we jump off here? We can. Oh, that's, uh, okay, it's back where we were. Thought that, 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 yes, yes. It pays to check, you know? Always gotta check. You know what? I'm gonna save. I don't wanna have to go back and get that cog again. Yeah. Just in case. And that's, uh, that's the way. Okay. Can we open this? The Clockwork Castle. We made it. The Dweller of Strife is somewhere in there. Somewhere. This is ominous. Now, as far as bases of evil operations go, it's pretty sweet. You! Oh, it's us. It's them. We are bound by oath not to let you enter the Acolyte's headquarters. And what about your oath as solstice warriors? That one was not taken willingly. Lear, please hear me out. Step aside right now. Stick to the plan, Brugaves. The Dweller will knock some sense into him. Hmm, fine. We only need to buy some time. Please, Zale, surrender. Forget it. And it brings me no joy, but we must ensure the Acolytes finish the waking ritual. Do your worst. Bring it. Uh, <clears throat> hey, I, I think we should just sit this one out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. Chakus. Ha, ah, we did it. Since she is the sun, will the moon hurt her? No, not really. Yikes. About a little moon orang, huh? Mm. Okay, what's the best plan here? Probably this. Sun Jakus, huh? Hmm, that hurt. Okay. I don't know what the end, end game is here with these. I don't know. Are we going to finish them, actually? I don't know. Um, we should probably do this. Probably a wise use. That's not terrible. That's a little bit more difficult. Okay. We're 
we're building up combo quick, which I'm sure is by design, because we do need to heal quite a bit during this, probably. Um, you know. Should we heal now or not? I don't know. Probably not. This time. This time will be good. Yeah. We're back to full. Fantastic. Hey, hey! Now she's down for the count. Hmm. Seems to be a bit tougher. There we go. That should be enough. You can still join us if. Get lost, don't you dare. Yeah. Let's go. I guess that was just a stall, wasn't it? And we're restored to full. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go back and save. You know the drill. Can we just jump off? That's great. We are indeed back to full. Okay. Ooh. This is great. I like this. All the good stuff. Look at that. There must be something very significant coming up. Peaches. We didn't have many of those. Um, can't jump in there. These things are very creepy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cuckoo Monster and Cock Zombie. Okay. Haste. Okay, now we know we don't want that to happen. Probably almost dead. They are indeed. Okay. A lot of experience. A lot of experience. Um, okay, so there's a way up. We have to go probably either way here and unlock the way. Oh, I didn't get it off. Okay. A stop to that right quick. Um, I love the little cuckoo sound it makes. Let's try this. I always feel good when I get that first one. You don't have to get the first one to keep going, but I think it probably helps. And that's one more hit, right? Ooh. Okay. 
Got him. Love that experience. Love it. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? I'm missing something, aren't I? Hmm. This, I see, I see. Like that. Now this is the way to get back. How am I supposed to get it over? Ah, I see. Clever. Well, that's pretty neat, isn't it? Okay. What's over here, then? I figured we'd have to go... Well, maybe we do have to go both ways. There's a chair. And a clock. Way down. Let's do this. Well, there's a new thing. Strife minion. Oh, we, we, we've seen something like that before, haven't we? Let's uh, do this. That's a lot of HP. Um, I don't know if we can get them closer together, but let's try. Well, that worked. That worked. Wow, well, she is not doing well, is she? Um. That's better. Hmm. We need to attack that thing, don't we? Can't remember exactly. Minion really didn't like that, did he? Okay. Let's see what the goodie is. Yard and key. Desperately need it, so. Let's say this is a pretty cool area. Very ominous. Let's go around the periphery. So there's that thing. Nothing happens if we step there. Mm 
<laughs> okay, so what happens if we do the easy thing first? Nothing, apparently. And that kicks it out. Okay, what if we send it over here, then? That locks it in. So I'm guessing the point of it is to get it into the middle one, right? Okay, I just need to think for a minute. Okay. Can we not get behind it? No, oh, that's the other thing. There. And up there. Over here. Whip the thing. Push it down, flip the thing again. Whoosh. Whoosh. And that gives us a way up. Hmm. Is that... Okay, that was not helpful, was it? Oh, I need to get it down there, I bet. No, that was the absolute wrong thing to do. Wow, okay. No. Oh, sugar. Wait. Do that. Then do that. Not okay. Where'd it go? Oh, it went down. Did it go there? be a good place to hide some goodies, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah, so these are the geniuses. Toiling away, eh? Oh, travelers, would you like to have a look at my wares? I yeah, can't afford anything. Don't, uh... One of those for Gar would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Have to keep working. Talk to Kyle. That was, uh, this is Locket. You know, we have something to sell. Should we get one of these for Garl? Probably. Well, or, or uh, Sarai, actually. I'm gonna keep that. I can buy two. Should I buy two? I guess. Toe. If you need anything, talk to Kyle. Okay. I'm not Kyle. Let me work. I bet that's Kyle up there, then. rest. Oh, 
Okay. No. Nope. And yes, I'm sorry. I'll save one more time. You know. It never hurts. But this is Kyle here. Or KL. Is it KL? Yes, this will do. Can't wait to see their faces. Ha ha. Ahem. Oh, visitors. Hmm. Sorry. Nice to meet you. My name is Garl, and these are my friends, Belir, Sarah, Zale, Sarai, and Reshin. Hello, everyone. I'm Kael. 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 Uh, I hope it's not rude to ask, but... Are you human? Pretty wrinkly for a kid, huh? Hmm? Huh? That's because my friends and I have been 10 years old for a very long time. What do you mean? Time? We read the story, remember? What about it? It doesn't pass within the castle. Or rather, it didn't pass within the bodies of its residents. We can't die after causes, but we must remain here always. This time prison has been our home for centuries. If we were to leave, we'd instantly age and die. So that's the gist of it. Well, that's grim. It's okay, we like it here. Plus, we get to be kids forever. How cool is that? Even though making machines for the bad guys ain't exactly our preference, a Shore Beach alternative. And what's the alternative? Ask the assassin. Ooh, the plot thickens. Anyway, what brings you here? We came to confront the acolytes and take down the Dweller of Strife. Oh, yeah. Well, in that case, I'll open the door for you. For that, you'd have to get through that big door leading to the ritual room. But in order to do that, you'd need to fetch the watchmaker's master key atop the clock tower. And in order to do that, you'd have to break the magic seal on the door leading to the clock tower. So you're out of luck. Ain't that something? And what makes you think you could take on a dweller anyway? Valir and Zale are solstice warriors. TM. Really? That got their attention, didn't it? Prove it. Bring the night. Watch this. Come on, Valir, do your stuff. And Zale. Whoa! No way! Did you see that? He's got a teddy bear. Well, where was it? Come here, please. Hey, you need to touch that magical rock. Now touch it with your palm, you see? That there crystal right there. Zappaloony. It worked. Kyle, you're a genius. What was that? The proof that Eclipse magic can be catalyzed. The implications are beyond words. Does this mean you can help? Yes, experiment changes everything. We have a device that can help you against the Dweller of Strife. You enter the clock tower now, you just get that master key while we finish our preparations. Act like them for a surprise, ha 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 ha. Yeah, <clears throat> indeed. That was so cool. I wish I could control the light too. Let's try. Bless their little hearts. Come on, we have to finish preparing the device for the return. Do the thing with the scale. I'll do it. Oh, ha ha, okay, just for a little bit. And bless their sweet little hearts. Okay. Let us continue. A chunk of Malunka. Oh, I see how it works. I don't understand it, of course. 
I have to, just, you know, I have to undo that one. I bet, yeah. Okay, I get it. I'm not completely stupid. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe a little. We have to hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Huh? Is there anything hidden? Gotta check. Gotta check. Okay, now we do this. I don't know if this is timed as well. We got the little sound. <laughs> now this is gonna close on us for sure. Down or up? I bet we have to go down to go up first. Oh no, okay. We are down. We now go up. And this activates the Dumaflachet and the Wingadang. What does that do? I bet that resets it. And then let you push that one. Which way do we go first? Let's go this way. More of this, huh? More of this stuff. Fantastic. There's a chest. Okay, we need to get the chest. Uh, there's a thing way the heck over there. Okay, now. Okay. There's one. the other one. I hope it's something good. Evergreen leaf. Max HP plus 30. He's got the green leaf. She's got the green leaf. Let's give her the evergreen leaf. Okay, that sounds good. Let's get out of here. So that was that way. Let's go the other way. It's very elaborate, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's boogers. Let's start off with a sunball. Oh, yeah. They didn't like that. Forget what that thing does. Doesn't matter now, does it? Okay. Nothing over here, okay. So we have three switches. We have three Dumaflachets. That raises that. And that raises that. That raises that. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. No. Okay. That's it. You just keep fooling with it. And eventually you get it. This is straight out of Resident Evil here. Okay, got the elevator back on. Anything else up here? Okay. That will let us go on up, I guess. This is a tower, after all. Only one way to go. Rapplu. I see you over there. Oh. Sneaky. Can't do the sunball. Let's 
try this. Well, not terrible. Try this. Not bad. Alright, next time we're gonna level up, looks like. Okay. Okay. This just goes up to this. Dang. Okay. Can do that. All right. Is this a way we would want to go? We can't get up there, can we? No. I see a rainbow conch chest, though. Guess we're gonna have to do some thinking to get that loose, aren't we? Huh. Okay. I didn't expect that. Okay, let's go up here then. Get that loose, okay. And do this. Huh? And that. Uh huh. How do we get the rainbow conch? I live for rainbow conchs, you know. Live for him. Okay. Aha! There we go. And we just climb up and get it. How about that? I was expecting a whole big deal. trip. Ah. Okay. I put his lights out. Okay. Let's uh, do a little of this. the level. Alright, time for decision making. Let's go for mana. Physical, I guess. I wanted to do hit points, but... Um, mana. It's 
since we rarely get that naturally, it'd probably be smart to take that every time, but... Mana. And... Mana. So now we can do Sunball twice if we go in full. That was the way in, was it? Or was that the way in? I'm confused. Anyway, whatever. Not sure what that accomplishes. Blue Leaf. MP plus five. Who has low MP? Uh, these, these guys. Tempted to give it to him, but we like that healing, don't we? Oh, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know. We'll, we'll hang on to it for now. So what's the point of this, huh? I don't know. Well, I guess that's the whole point of being in here. And this is a red herring, I guess. Ever upward. Up we go. There's a wheels table in here. Is this is this the watchmaker? Are you the watchmaker? Yes, that's my question exactly. Hmm, <clears throat> nice portrait. Look, we need your master key in order to... Whatever you may need, I take no part in any conflict. Okay. There's the key. Is that your key? Why, quite peculiar how it happened to appear just like that. Are you saying we can take it? I'm simply pointing out the peculiarity of what just happened. Her portrait is quite striking. I have work to do. We'll just take the darn key. She has nothing else to say. There is a wheels table. You want to challenge me at a game of wheels? Don't be silly. You haven't beaten all the champs yet. Oh, we'll be back. We'll be back. I guess now it's time to head down. Uh, let's look at the text. Made by the watchmaker to unlock the big door in Kyle's workshop. Down we go. Clock towers used to be a fairly common fixture in old games, but they haven't really uh, haven't really been a thing for a while, so it's refreshing to see this. Well, let's rest and save. Do we need to cook? No, we don't. All right, so we have the key for the uh, for the way into where the acolytes are hiding. We have the watchmaker's master key. We've accomplished quite a lot, but I think it's a place to wrap it up for now, folks. Thanks for joining me here in the roost today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it and leave me a comment below, uh, letting me know what you like most about this area and this particular part of the series so far. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Your support means everything to me and gives me what I need to keep going to make great content just like this. For now, I'll bid you do and wish you well wherever you are, whenever you are. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.